hi guys is there a deadline or something for our celebrities because this year it's been wedding bells upon wedding bells like we started this year with with kunle and his wife too. like we all know how kunle remy's wedding was it was beautiful it was lovely the vibes the vibes it was giving we enjoyed Kunle's wedding, both their traditional marriage that happened in Ibadan, to the white wedding that also happened in Ibadan, if I'm correct. If you don't know, Kunle got married to Otedola's grandchild, like not Femi Otedola, Femi Otedola's father. So the lady's mom is Femi Otedola's sister. You could uh, you would see that Femi was there, his children were there at the wedding, his daughter was even a bridesmaid, I think the lady's chief bridesmaid. So, you know, everybody making strategic moves marrying the right person both by pocket and everywhere you know they don't make these mistakes and we thought after kunle that we were going to catch a break it's all over then but while moses bliss was trending for a kms wedding we didn't know that he was also planning for his own wedding yes immediately after a kms wedding moses bliss announced his engagement and from his engagement there was a traditional marriage and the white wedding we were all here on the internet to witness it. Moses Bliss married a Ghanaian. Like he went far and beyond for the wedding. He wrote love songs for the proposal. He wrote an EP. An EP is a mini album for his wedding. Love songs. Like it was so beautiful. There were a lot. Ah, it was it was too much for the single folks. For the single Pringles, it was too much. But we were enjoying it. You know, it was beautiful. We loved it, and it was cool. And just after that, Theophilus Sunday also came up with his own. He was getting married to a Jamaican woman. Although they kept it low on the pictures and videos that was posted online, but it also made it to the news that someone else was getting married, a celebrity was getting married, and a minister of God was getting married. People celebrated with them. We were all happy. And just as we were getting off from that, Vicky James came with the wedding of the year. Like, if you were online doing Vicky James' wedding, you will know that it was just hard not to see the wedding. Vicky James, her wedding was a lot. Like, it was a lot. She did so much for her wedding. I would admit that she actually did so much. Vicky James is someone I've come to love for her crafts. But her wedding, she did too much for her wedding. The number of clothes, they, are, they even gave awards for Vicky James' wedding. Yes, best dressed award. It was like there was a, a fashion competition in the wedding. You know, a lot of things happened. He, she sang with the choir. So many things. We were still trying to recover from that beautiful wedding because how many weddings? How many weddings in less than six months into the year? How many weddings already? But people were still planning back end while we were just coming up from vicky james wedding queen of big brother niger also announced her marriage yes queen got married and if you know something that made queen's story peculiar is that queen is a single mother she gave birth after big brother niger to one guy like that who really does not befit her and so people were still like who is the father of her child and the rest of it and we just saw her getting married to this other guy who seems very okay well made responsible People were also very happy for her. You know, the love was shown to her again. Her baby daddy came out to like try to cause troubles, but people just put him in his place. People were happy for Queen. Her wedding looks beautiful. Her husband looks responsible. He was taking care of the daughter. You know, everybody was happy. Even the single Pringles were happy. Just after that, that Wofe Dada also announced her own marriage, her own she did a traditional marriage. Yes, it was also beautiful, although not a lot of videos or pictures made it to the media but we could see she posted her husband that she was getting married and the rest of it a little controversy was there too because the husband's family came out to say that they are not aware of this marriage they are not participating they don't have a hand in it and the rest of it but this is a typical love win story because the husband said he's an adult he can make his choice he can choose his wife and he has chosen this woman the wedding happened they are now both married husband and wife and we thought you know it's time to cool down. It's time to slow it down. The year is just starting. We are less than six months into the year. Can we just relax? And while we were, you know, trying to relax, 30 BG gang said, hold my cup because our chief, our 001 is getting married this year. Yes, and that was Davido coming out to tell us that his wedding 
was going to be on the 25th of June, 2024. Like, we didn't really know early, but the news came out and then there were other clips to just confirm that this wedding is coming. And of course, we all knew that a Davido wedding is going to be a shutdown. It's going to be the best in town. And he didn't fall short of that expectation. Davido's wedding was like, it was so big. It had like two venues. People were packed people were packed people really came out to celebrate this couple we all know their story we all know what the two of them have been through their love story has not been a smooth one at all like it's not been smooth at all so their wedding really really you know it made the news people were happy for them people felt like are they sure they are, they are doing the right thing but again love wins and once love wins we accept what love wins so the wedding was beautiful, it was lovely, Choma was really happy, you can tell it from the way she was dancing, her bridal shower, the main event, she was really looking very happy, very satisfied with her decision. Of course, she loves her husband, obviously Davido loves her, he just has some weakness that we pray he works on this time around because this is now till death to us apart journey. And just like two days after David's wedding was Sharon or just traditional marriage from a traditional marriage to her wife's wedding, it was also another talk of the town. This is because her wedding looked so beautiful. And because it was just closed in date with David's wedding, a lot of comparisons sprang up. People started to compare David's wedding versus Sharon's wedding, this and that. You know, people tried to say that David, um, Sharon was getting married to someone that she really loves, his true love, the man is responsible and the rest of it. Up until people started digging a lot of mess about this man. How this is his fourth marriage. He's been married three times. It didn't work out. He just divorced his wife less than one year ago. He's married Sharon. However, the truth is that Sharon never came out to tell us anything about her husband. So it's not like she lied. She never came out to say her husband is a billionaire. She never came out to say her husband has never married before. You know, so when, when people were discovering this news, I don't know why they took it so much to heart, but that was just how Sharon's wedding ended. But her wedding was really beautiful. The bride's vibe was on point. She looked really lovely. She looked amazing. Like her wedding dress was very beautiful. So like I was just saying, this is just six months into the year and we already have this much wedding proposals are still coming up that means there are still more weddings seems like this year is the deadline i'm so happy for them that each and every one of them is finding their own person i pray it works for them the marriage lasts just as long as they want it children surrounding their table joy and happiness thank you for watching this video <laughs> I'm gonna be like